The cup of coffee would not budge, and this is what started the undeclared endemic. The first man's first finger dissolved, reaching for a cup of coffee in a Houston diner, where he held the chronicle finger creased and upright. Only a water streak remains, and the news fallen flat. The woman reporter on the news outside the cafe has not dissolved, but as she reports, some patrons and clerks talking to officers dissolve before our eyes, and you can hear it. Miss Gratzer told us animals have no cell walls, only membranes, semi-permeable, and I have wondered ever since what has kept the water from unleashing through our bodies, a river that controls our bodies, its organs. Maybe the secret lies here, why we're mystified by water when we go to the edge of it. And when it happens, the dissolution, it sounds like water trickling, a rain stick, but really close to the ear. So when the boys next door dissolved, I heard it, as though it happened right next to my ear, even with a wall between us. And it's not because it's loud, just that it's close. In the hallway, water spread from under their door, so I looked at my dog, waiting for one of us to dissolve, but we did not. And I knew that we would not, so long as I thought this way, that we, that my dog and I, would remain whole. So I explained this to my dog, and my tongue dissolved, alone in my mouth, mid-sentence. And to me, it was loud, and felt like hot oil entering my throat. For a while, I ride my bike with a trailer attached so my dog can ride bus wheels inches sometimes from her curled black body napping over concrete. When a bus opens its doors, its steps have become waterfalls that spatter my dog's coat as she lifts her nose to the air. No one knows if the president holds himself together, but what's it matter when the water is rising and the water is black as obsidian, is dead bodies. The water is the dead rising to the steps of courthouses churches, universities, schools of all kinds, and has made everyone paranoid, people you thought would never let it happen, and people you wished would dissolve over sinks or toilet bowls, some of them do. Do not ask me how I am still here about meditation or presentness. My mind is an asylum that medicates its patients, categorizes them in seafoam nightgowns, delivering pills at the right time of day. In my mind, there is a doctor who asks nurses to deliver diagnoses for him, then spreads their legs by the office window. My mind is, is merely fumigated chaos, reflecting that which it ingests. And sometimes when I sweat, I believe it is happening. And sometimes when my dog plays with her rattlesnake toy, I believe it is happening. Thank you.